We'll start off with Sam Coniglio. We always do. Heck yeah. Come on, Sam. <laughs> I love starting you off, Coach. Speaking of starters, Jackson <laughs> had another good one today. Um, but w personally, if I could inject my opinion, what I thought was impressive was in the second inning, he got the lo uh, bases loaded up, and he was able to get you guys out of that without a run. Um, kind of what does that say about him as a pitcher? Yeah, anybody can uh... – Anybody can start a game or anybody can start an inning. It's the guys who have the ability to finish that make you a good pitcher, you know. And one thing Jackson's done in the last couple months is usually when we score or have a big inning, he comes out and, you know, we call them rebound runs. Don't give up any rebound runs. If we, especially at home, if you can throw up a two spot in the first and he can go out and throw up a zero, that's a huge advantage. And, you know, he had to adjust because those guys came out. They're not a great offensive team, or so the numbers say, but they came out swinging at his fastball, and he had to adjust and do some different things. So I was kind of proud of the way he did that. We'll go to Chris Hall. Hey, Coach. Uh, kind of playing off Jackson Wolf there. Um, this, you know, this is probably his last start at Mon County Park. Park, just what has he meant to this program over his time, during his time in Morgantown? I don't know why you say that. He's only a junior. He's got another year here. I know, I know. <laughs> it's kind of uh, kind of weird that you don't get to keep your better players till their senior year. But yeah, that was uh, that was good, man. It's, uh, it's a good way for him to go out and. Hopefully he'll go out, you know, and get a chance to go play. He deserves it. He's earned it. And, uh, you know, the, you guys and families and the players get caught up in all that stuff more than I do. Sometimes I didn't put two and two together. That, that was his potentially his last appearance at Mon County until I was walking off the field and it occurred to me. But, but uh, yeah, it's just another chapter in his baseball career that he can flip the page and, and hopefully when this year's move on to bigger and better things and follow the leads of the guys ahead of them, like Manoa and Grove and Musgrave and Means and those guys, and, and keep learning, keep getting better, and hopefully pitch for a long time. Sam? Coach, you mentioned Alec there. Did you uh, catch any of his start in Buffalo that earned him the pitcher of the week? I uh, didn't see any of it, but I understand he's he threw two really good ones back to back. What do you have another six inning outing? Do you know his what his line was? I believe it was six innings, two hits, no runs, no uh, maybe no walks, maybe a walk or two. Yeah, he's uh, he keeps messing around. That boy's gonna find himself in the big leagues here for too long. Anything else for Coach tonight? Go ahead, Sam. Sorry, Coach. I'm going to close you out, too. Nice. <laughs> uh, the, you guys had a tough spot in the eighth, gave up the lead, and then – yeah, in the eighth, and then gave up the lead, got it right back. Um, you know, you've had a lot of tough spots in the season. This time you guys really pulled it off with your offense. Um, what was the mood like in the dugout, and how would you guys get it done? Uh, you know, I was told the guys for the game, you know, the team that gives up the least amount of free bases is probably going to win this game. And, you know, we just go out and walk two guys in the eighth inning. And when you do that, little cap shots off the end of the bat end up scoring runs. If there's nobody on base when that happens, you know, the shortstop probably runs back there and catches it. And we're not even talking about it. So if you're going to be a good team, you just can't give up free bases and, and that's what we did. But, you know, that was uh, – those guys, man, those arms that they run out there on this Miami team, that's as good a pitching staff as as we'll see all year. And, hey, oh, by the way, the 100-mile-an-hour guy is going tomorrow for them, and they haven't used their closer yet. So that's – uh, there's some really good arms in that dugout over there. I'm kind of anxious to see this guy tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. <laughs> 